Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome to Market Psychology 101, where we look for value in the markets when there's fear and are cautious when there's greed. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some Bitcoin miner stocks that are available on Robinhood. Let's take a look at fear and greed first of all. And this is the timeline for fear and greed on CNN business page. So as you can see, we keep popping up and under the extreme greed area that's 75 and so right now things are elevated on pie investing similar things we've been up above it and slowly trending down pie investing has us only at 70 which is still greed something to be concerned about is how there's low breath in the market and what low breath means and i hope you can hear the d in there as i'm trying to pronounce it is that there's a lot of extra money into these top stocks, things like your Microsoft, NVIDIA's, Apple's, and all that, and less money in the lower stocks. So just something to be cautious or keep an eye on. Some people are saying that when all that corrects, that a lot of these top stocks, such as Microsoft and others, will come back down to their, closer to their 200 week moving average, as you can see with the 200 week MA, we rarely get down to there. So this was a great financial crisis. This was after the dot-com bubble. If we take a look at Apple 200, we get close sometimes, get close, and haven't really gone under it in some time. Dot-com bubble, Amazon, this was great financial crisis. And then just recently, late 2022. So. Keep an eye on that 200 week for some of the bigger stocks. Should it hit it or get under, tends to be a good time to buy. Anyways, let's get into the Bitcoin miners and we are gonna start up with Marathon. And Marathon, let's take off this 200 week MA, go to the five year. What do we see here with Marathon? So after it had this low at around 42 cents, shot up to $71, if you got in here, Wow, <laughs> nice gains. And then it has been correcting in here for a while. So let's draw a fib from the high. I started that one off not perfectly. So let's fix that. You can still see a little bit of green sticking above it. No, it's not perfect, but from the high to the low, you can see right here we're getting above the 236. That's what that red part says right here. And it looks like it's deciding whether or not to go back under it or to shoot up to higher levels. So let's throw on an indicator, one of our trusty buy sell signals. This one tends to front run. We did get a buy signal on the weekly, and this has been going for three weeks. Overall, you could see that we're creating higher lows, and the RSI, the relative strength index, is still overall in an uptrend. So Right now, Marathon is looking bullish. If this is a Bitcoin mining stock you like, check on it every week. See where it's at. If you're starting to see some buy signals pop up, it's a good time to get in early because you don't know if it's going to run up about, well, that's a 100% move there. Dang, 100%, almost 300%. <laughs> Back here, let's just go from the body, something more realistic, 70%, and so far, 40%. So it has yet to break above this high that was formed here back in late December. That's what I'd be looking for to do to confirm that we are still bullish on Marathon. Let's go to Riot, Riot Platforms. And what do we see here? So I just drew this fib from what's been going on recently and similar to marathon for three weeks we've been bullish and we are testing out i know this fib is upside down sometimes i start down here sometimes i start up here whatever so something to note though is that <coughs> at this upper level here it's still looking to break break over it it did with a wick but it's it's still looking to close and that level is looking like resistance here so do keep an eye on Riot. If it gets a red weekly sell signal, then from the looks of it, you would guess that it would come back down to the 618 at worst, or maybe the 0.5. So if you're willing to be patient, 
maybe you'll see what it does and if it does get a sell signal look for an entry somewhere around twelve dollars down to somewhere near ten dollars so that's what we have going on there this is the rsi getting lower and the price is getting lower so you could say that this is just somewhat bearish however i'll say that just by looking at this we're in a range here so maybe we're accumulating or consolidating to violently move up or down you never know so something to keep an eye on next let's go to oh hit the wrong button clean spark and guys as far as any of these minor stocks go i'm leaving it to y'all to do your own research to see whether or not it's a good stock to buy. I had someone in the last minor stock video mention that one of them had some legal problems. Sure. However, sometimes that can create better pricing opportunities to get in. So yes, that news does suck. However, you have to see the forest through the trees. And if it's a stock you like and believe in, then maybe you don't mind the bad news and the lower prices. But it, with the higher risk, can come a higher reward or Again, it's high risk for a reason as we get down this list here. I'm trying to read down these minor stocks somewhat in order of their market cap. And so the higher market cap ones tend to be the more safer options. We're down to $3 billion here. Let, let me quick look how much market cap is Marathon. Marathon, $5 billion. So anyways, back to CLSK, Clean Spark. So we had a buy signal a few weeks ago. As you can see, we broke through. We got up to 1943, pretty good. And yeah, we're just bullish here. You could say that if the RSI is done, then this is bearish diversions because lower on the RSI, higher in the price, sure. Overall though, it does look bullish. And right here, you can see if we go to the daily that we did just get this red candle. So maybe this is going to take us down to the moving average something around the 0.5 around this 11.39 let's measure out how big this move was so there it dropped 50 percent do i believe it'll drop 50 percent again i don't know maybe but if it even just dropped to the 0.5 that's 35 percent down here 45 percent if something like clean spark did get to this level here around 9.50 it, that would be a tempting buy there, or, or at least a spot to dollar cost average in. Cypher, CFR, Cypher Mining. Here you can see we've just been going up and down in this range from the tops. Well, this was the new top that was formed, but we got above the 236 just twice, and then most recently rejected pretty close off of that level. And we keep coming down to the 786, somewhere around 220. So are we going to get down there again? Maybe. As you can see here, at least recently, since late January, that it does look like we're possibly creating higher lows. If you want to be patient, maybe you'll look for a price around 3 bucks. You can see right here that wick formed a nice base around that 20 MA on this indicator. So if it does close below that, then maybe it is going to run back down to the lower two dollar levels so that's what we got going on for cypher as well as you can see the price the rsi overall going down lower highs so yeah we have higher lows very recently lower highs lower rsi maybe the rsi is continuing is going to break and continue up past this trend if i were to draw a line you can just see between the peaks if it breaks above that then maybe we are getting back up to here but again, we need to see structure showing that we're breaking out above this $5 range or $5 to $6 range. So if you did buy in here, not the worst. However, if you were willing to be more patient, I'd wait for at least this 294 level. If it got under that, I do think you could catch it at around 250. Let's go to Wolf, Terra Wolf. And Terra Wolf, something I've noted is that this thing is coiling in. Yes, it's got underneath it. Overall, I drew this line because we seem to be bouncing off of it. And even right here when it broke above, it was riding up it for a little bit, tagged it, came back down. So got a sell signal on the daily. And it does seem to be wanting to come down at least to this 20 MA. So 
Maybe it's going to get somewhere around $2. Or even back here where we have some structural support. Or that's the 786 line down here. So obviously drew the fib low to high around a buck fifty seven. So if you were able to catch it underneath, let's say yeah, let's say a buck seventy. If you get it under there, I don't think that's the worst for a long term. If we zoom way out, what do we see? Terra Wolf has been as high as forty two dollars. Does it mean it has to get back there again? No, it doesn't. However, if you are someone who believes in Bitcoin having a four-year cycle, every four years we have its peak. Here was the true peak last time. That's where everything pretty much finished. But if you believe we're going to have something like that again in mid-late 25, okay, not the worst time to get in. However, you can maybe wait for some more value later on. This does look like, at least with these wicks, that it's starting to trend and turn over, that maybe we're going to get a sell signal, something like this for a few weeks get down to maybe the high one dollar range let's move on we have just four more bit digital okay what do we got going on with bit digital so some accumulation down here buy sell buy sell buy ripped up to the tune of we'll just go from the body there yes to the tune of 140 percent you could say 100 percent if you miss that wick Sell signal came down, and then we got to, well, 272, 279 after market. So, yeah, we have this doji right here. It is red. These can go violently either way. So maybe this is a little fake out, and we're going to continue back down to $2. If so, I'd be hard-pressed not to pick up some bit digital down here. Again, do your own research only buy if it's a stock you like when it comes to stocks I, I even try to promote that it's something you use and if it isn't something you use you do have to do extra amounts of research and make sure that you are not putting in any money that you are unwilling to lose and if this is just a play off the Bitcoin for your cycle hoping that it'll do that again and you're hoping that this thing will do a 20x or something Look, it was as high as 30 bucks, so maybe you're hoping for a 10x or more off Bit Digital. Then I'd say, okay, if you bought some right now, sure, it's not at the worst price. However, anytime we're underneath the 618 range right here, to me, it's it's still showing overall weakness. You could say the RSI is making higher lows, so maybe it's just gaining structure, getting ready to shoot off later. Let's go to. Bit farms. So bit farms creating newer highs recently. How about that? We'll move up our fib. And yeah, right now this thing's just bullish. We are overbought and we are making newer highs. So we'll see where this RSI finishes. If the RSI finishes down here and we are creating higher price and lower strength, that's bearish divergence. And you could wait for a sell signal and then a little bit of a move down. The moves. Here, don't seem to be too violent as some of the others. Yes, we had this one in here, but maybe it just only moves down a couple fib levels like it did here, I'm sure, formerly. If we mapped it out here, you could see those are about a couple fib levels back there even. So maybe if we are to get some bearish turnaround, you could look for something around 250. So, yeah, it... You could wait for that from its 315 level all-time high somewhere around 10 so could this thing blow through it and make new highs sure it only has a 950 million dollar market cap and if you believe this thing can go to something like 3 billion then yeah maybe you're looking for something like a 3x iron and hut iris energy limited and this one we had a lower high in the price rsi is falling downwards you can see here where was the price there so the price was higher and the rsi was lower so bearish divergence and if we get a sell signal you can see the wicks are kind of creating this resistance above it if we were to get a sell signal then maybe you would be eyeing a price somewhere around the mid four dollar range so that's at least technically 
something I'd look for if you're willing to be patient and wait for lower prices on on iron or iris. Last one, hut, hut eight corp. And I don't have a fit for this one, but what do we notice? We had a buy signal not too long ago and we're still pretty close to those prices. Yes, it's low $8. So, and we have a lot of buy signals in here. So this one got beaten down more. I do believe this is the, the minor stock that someone commented in the last video that they had some legal troubles. Okay, if so, do your own research. And again, I, I prefer to invest in stocks I like and especially stocks I use because it's the best way to get insider information. You do see more weakness in this chart compared to others. We're staying well under the 618 range and it has a market cap of 780 million. So if you're hoping for a 10X, then you believe that this could be a $7 billion company one day. And look, guys, I, I don't know too much about half of these minor stocks, to be honest. I, I know a bit more about Marathon, Riot, Clean Spark, and Bit Digital. However, I will say this, I, I've been through these two Bitcoin bull runs. I've been in crypto since 2017. And some of the dumbest shit will run up for no reason. Things that have zero value. You can look at Doge and other shit coins that have come and gone. And with the minor stocks, I think you can't discount that possibility. Now, I'm not saying to make degenerate yellow plays, but there are people that make money that way and you got to hand it to them. And part of that is they're just looking for more value and they're looking to find charts when they're down here they'll throw whatever extra money they have kind of like an educated gamble or i'll say deep value gamble and think hey you know if i can get this bitcoin miner around eight bucks and maybe it'll do a 10 or 20x look at that it could do a 10x back up to previous all-time highs and sell somewhere up here so there are people that trade and invest, they, or I guess I'll say trade vest exclusively that way when they don't really understand that. I'm not promoting that. And I'm also here to say that that does work out for people sometimes. Again, it's, in, in my opinion, I hate to use the word educated, but deep value investing. Not always going to work out. i rather... I'd rather put my money into a strong stock, something like a Microsoft, Apple, NVIDIA, when it's at its 200-week moving average or below it. And no, I'm making a strong value play because some of these, we don't know if they're not going to be around after the next Bitcoin bull run, should we get one. So could you throw some money at HUT right here and just wait and see if the four-year cycle plays out and then take profit somewhere in mid to late 25 if we do have a four-year cycle sure you could i'm not encouraging that and be careful with your own money because again we look at the price look at the rsi lower highs lower highs it's just bearish then again this can create this does look like accumulation in here and it can create potential for a good deep value buy so take from all that what you will just be careful with your money and and if you're willing to make risky plays, my opinion, not financial advice, don't make that a big part of your portfolio. So again, yeah, Bitcoin overall overbought. We haven't been overbought since we were creating all time highs back here. And from this mid cycle top and the all time high before it. On the daily, you can see just like a couple of our miners, there is some possible area for reversals maybe Bitcoin will come down to this FIB level somewhere around 48. Last thing I'll, I'll talk about here is Bitcoin, that the altcoins and these miners go the way Bitcoin goes. And we've had these 20% drawdowns since the last bottom, 22%, almost 20%. This one, very similar, 20% ETF approval. 21 22 percent so we have had those consistent drawdowns so even if by the halving which is out here even if we got up to somewhere like 56k 
and add a 20% drawdown. Where does that put us? Right around all the structure. So these miners, these altcoins, they tend to go the way Bitcoin goes. And a bullish sentiment I would share with all of you about the miners is that when we have the Bitcoin halving, what does that mean? It means that at each halving, half the amount of Bitcoin is being mined. And I've seen articles come out when the price of Bitcoin is tanking saying that, well, half the amount of Bitcoin is being mined, so they're going to make half the amount of money. That's the narrative being pushed by some of these news websites when the price is going down. Inversely, when the price is going up, they say, well, if half the amount's being mined, that's going to create a supply crunch and drive prices up. So here at Market Psychology 101, when we talk about fear and greed, I, I'm trying to encourage you guys to take a contrarian viewpoint time to time to read through the BS of what the news is telling you. Because when people are feeling good, that, that tends to be the peaks here. When Bitcoin was peaked, that's when we had ads during the Super Bowl for Crypto.com. Matt Damon telling you that fortune favors the brave. They're literally hyping people up near the top. And that's when retail's given every one the final push to the peaks. But when those commercials come out, when the good news comes out, it tends to be better times to sell. So we're not quite in that bluff top four-year cycle euphoria phase. Yes, we are getting there. And maybe at the halving, we'll be somewhere between 52 and 69,000. That's the pattern we've been seeing as price has been slowly going up in these zones each time. So 52 to 69 is kind of our range for the halving price or for Bitcoin at the halving. So take from that what you will. Do your own research. Take your own risks with your money. Some of these Bitcoin miners, I do think they're at decent value buy plays right now. However, me personally, we've been going up for three, four weeks. I might wait to see when Bitcoin gets a little bit of a sell-off on the weekly, even if it goes higher. Even if we go from 51 to something like 56, 57K, I, I don't mind waiting for the next 20% move and making sure that we had some, that we had a bearish move down and then draw a base and then reverse up. I think that you can find some good value times to buy there as well. Not that you can't right now in some of the miners I talked about. However, in both situations, you can look to see maybe how much do you want to put in now compared to how much you are you willing to put in after it sells off. So something you can do, you can take a look at Marathon Riot. When these moves happen, see where the price is and see if you're willing to wait for when Bitcoin comes back down again. Anyways, that's going to do it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's any stocks or cryptos you would like for me to take a look at please comment below i look at all the top cryptos available on Robinhood and the top 10 available on coinbase i take a look at earnings reports for the major stocks each week and just try to give you a brief overview of what those are again i leave the research up to you however if there's products i like and i use i'll be taking a quick technical look at it do the research yourself guys especially with stocks Check their balance sheet. Do they have extra cash on hand? Are their revenues higher than their expenditures? Do they have debt? How healthy is that company looking? And make your own informed decisions. So hope everyone's doing well, enjoying their Wednesday, and that you all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.